Today we're outside comparing Callaway Rogue ST drivers. Thomas is gonna hit some different tee shots on a few different holes, and we'll see how the performance compares. Hey golfers, Drew and Thomas today on the golf course here at Les Bolstead, and we're doing an on-course comparison of drivers, which is a little bit different than we've done in the past, but we've got the four Callaway Rogue ST drivers, new for 2022. We brought them out to the course today. It's a chilly spring day. But nonetheless, we're outside, and uh, we kind of wanted to see, uh, a we've done the comparison inside. Now we wanted to do it outside with some different elements and different wind directions. So I'm curious to see what, uh, what happens today. Yeah, so we have four different hits. We're gonna hit six total shots. So we're gonna play three different holes. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll hit two balls with each driver yeah. on each hole. First hole, the wind direction is gonna be out of the left. Yeah. Second hole is gonna be out of the right, and the final hole is gonna be downwind. Yeah. So I think it's going to be interesting to take a look at dispersion and see how much easier it is to st hit straight with, say, the Max D versus possibly like Triple Diamond. Um, but I think it's going to be fun, to, fun little comparison, and we'll also take a look at all the fitting numbers as well. Sure, sure. And then uh, just to clarify for the viewers out there, playing your gamer shaft. Yep. And then, uh, like you said, it'll be just two uh, shots per hole with each driver. Yep. My gamer shaft, Graphite Design XC6X. And we will be testing all these nine de with that nine degree loft setting. Perfect. We got the trackman out here today, and uh, we've got all the information we need. Let's uh, get ready to hit some shots here. Let's do it. Yeah, that was good. Yeah, that's good too. All right, well, we've got two shots at each driver so far, and I think so far, again, this is a very small sample size, but things are kind of lining up like we thought. Lower spin with the Max LS and the Triple Diamond, and also more distance that way. Uh, uh, the most left so far, you got the, you, both of your most left shots are with the Max D, uh, and then the straightest and tightest dispersion might be that, that Max right now. So uh, things are lining up pretty good so far. Yeah, and for golfers that know hole 13 at Les Ballstead, it's quite the sharp dog leg left. Yep. So I'm trying to shape it around the corner here and I felt really comfortable with that Max D yeah. to know I could turn it over. The mm -hmm. others I had to fight a little bit, but I was able to do it still. Sure, sure. Well, we've got another opposite wind on this next tee shot here coming from the right now. So that could be a problematic for that, that Max D maybe. Well, let's go collect more data. All right, Thomas, we moved over to hole 15 here. Uh, very different wind. It's coming off the right kind of this way. So. Talk to me about this tee shot here. Yeah, so it's over your right on this hole. So anything really right is, is gone. Yeah. Left, there's some trees over there. It's kind of a bailout, but those trees have really grown over the last few years. So it's gonna be interesting comparing these driver heads to see how they perform, knowing that I've got quite the range from say the Triple Diamond LS all mm -hmm. the way to the Max D and see how much easier it is to hit, hit one straighter versus maybe not as much. Right. All right, we're on the 16th tee now, Thomas. So talk to me about this one. I see uh, a pretty narrow landing area once again. Yeah, this is a little bit more downwind here. Um, so the ball might fly a little bit straighter overall. Um, but yeah, OB right, trees left. Still gotta hit a good, hit a good shot. Mm -hmm. Let's hit two more shots with each one and then let's dive into the data. All right, well, Thomas, you got all the data. Um, yep. You've hit you know, a bunch of tee shots with each of the models. Walk me through kind of what you see is the biggest uh, piece of information there. Yeah, so this is an, a pretty good test and we're, we're ranging from basically 109 to 111 in club speed. So I'm gonna focus a little bit on that efficiency number. Um, so you can see that the Rogue ST Max D 147, Rogue ST Max 147, also pretty good. So I'm, I'm a little surprised to see that those were very, very good on the smash factor number yeah. and seeing that the Max LS and the, and the Triple Diamond were a little bit less. Sure. Uh, and that may be a forgiveness part to it too. Yeah. Just, just knowing that they're kind of be more forgiving with the Max D and, and the Max, less forgiving with the Max LS and the Triple Diamond. However, we're seeing similar kind of trends, what you would expect when it comes to like launch and spin. So if you take a look at the spin rate, the, it's kind of funny. 
The Triple Diamond and the Max LS are separated by one RPM. <laughs> 2014 and 2013 on, on average with the spin. Those two were spinning the lowest. The Max D was 2261 and the, the Rogue ST Max was 2308. Okay, so that's kind of the trend that you would probably expect, right? Yep, right. So what, is that, what does that really mean with regards to distance? Well, carry distance was separated by about three or four yards going from 284.1 to 287.8. Okay. Um, the Rogue ST Max was just a little bit shorter. And then total distance, 302.2 with the ST Max, 302.7 with the ST, sorry, ST Max D, 302.2, mm -hmm. ST Max 302.7, so basically the exam. Sure. Uh, 308.5 and 308.3 with the ST Max LS and the Triple Diamond. Okay, so, I mean, distance-wise, pretty similar. I think where the differences might show up a little bit then is you look at the map, and yeah. you'll see probably, yeah, I would imagine that Max D is a little bit shifted left on you. On that dispersion right angle. so i'm looking at the curve here 36 feet of curve with the max d on average was the most amount of curve to the left yeah um and we'll notice actually the the max actually had the most curve to the right all right was a maybe a little more straighter bull flight but that's look at that dispersion and see if anything stands out total distance wise um the st max ls the blue circle was the straightest on average Mm -hmm. I actually have four dots there that were really, really good, yep. and a couple just a little bit less left. Um, let's look at the ST Max. That one was kind of a little bit more left and right, I guess, but it was on average kind of more in the middle. Yep. The ST Max D was definitely hovering a little bit more left. Actually, all six were left of center. Okay. So that is definitely the benefit of still a draw bias head. Yep. And then we have the Triple Diamond. The Triple Diamond here. A little bit more left, had four left and a couple right, um, but the, uh, the ST Max LS actually was pretty, pretty good. good performer. Uh, looking at that at that blue overall, and yeah, I mean, pretty good performer overall. Interesting. So it, it's fun because we, we don't do this very often. We come out to the course, you're able to hit a few different tee shots, but the data ultimately is what we're talking about here, and we kind of do see the same trends that we would see indoors that we come out to the course and those same things show up. So that's, right. that's, a pretty, that's pretty cool about this test. Yeah, pretty, pretty cool. I think the Triple Diamond, the least forgiving, probably a little larger dispersion circle. Yep. Um, the Max LS, definitely a sneaky one there. Yeah. Oh, um, yeah. That, that, that performed really well overall. Max D was left, and the, the Max was straight. There you go. Well, yep. that's, those are the conclusions we would draw from the Rogue ST drivers. So I think pretty good test out here, able to come outside today for it. Uh, but golfers, if you're interested in a Callaway Rogue ST driver, you know what to do. Go to secondswing.com or schedule a fitting with one of our master fitters, and we'll get you set up with a new driver that will help you hit the ball longer and straighter. So, uh, Thomas, uh, I think that's, that's all we got today. So thanks for hitting all the shots today, bringing out the track, man. Uh, really good stuff today. Not a problem.